Today we're going to take a look at my young avocado tree, what kind of pests are hanging out on my tree. We're going to try to identify them and treat them with orange oil. Do I have mites? What kind of mites are they? And I've also got scale insects hanging out here. And stick around because I actually got the scale insect on film performing a peculiar little activity rarely seen on film. I recently discovered that my little avocado tree has Persea mites. And Persea is actually the name of the genus the avocado tree belongs to. There are over 48,000 described types of mites and possibly a million more undescribed. These aren't necessarily Persea mites, but I thought the pictures were really cool. Spotting the mites with a naked eye is quite difficult. You'll need a jeweler's loop or a thread counter. They have most of their activity on the underside, along the mid rib, and also they love the veins as well. They lay their eggs on here and uh, cover it with a little webbing, and that's what they call their nests. The webbing from other mites are much more obvious than the Persea mites. Here's the scale insect that we'll be taking a closer look at later with my thread counter. Great piece of equipment. Got to get one. Check this out. Here we can see a lone Persea mite tending to the eggs. You see those little round eggs. But over here we have a major gathering. I don't know exactly what they're doing here, but it looks like that one's moving an egg around. They might be uh, copulating. And I found a beetle type insect. I don't know what it is. If anyone out there can tell me exactly what it is, leave it in the comments. It looks like maybe a soldier beetle, which could be a predator of the mites and its eggs. Other predators include the brown lacewing, the minute pirate bugs, rove beetles, and this good old six-potted thrips, and everybody's favorite, the ladybug or the ladybirds if you're from the UK. Let's get this orange oil ready. This is good for organic gardening. As usual, follow the instructions. I put in 15 milliliters for two liters and a little dollop of potassium soap. But my favorite part is this. Spray downwards, spray straight ahead, upwards if you like, get under the plants. Or those other ones are kind of doing this and then it's not getting the, the liquid anymore. It's this being just very comfortable. See how it works. Pump. Number one rule when spraying, don't do it in the heat of the midday sun. I like to wait for when the sun goes down behind the mountain. Here I'm waiting for it to go down. I got started a little early. So go around, give it a good coverage, bottom and top, and go around a couple times if you have enough. Make sure you get a lot of coverage on there. And here goes the sun. It's just setting down right about now. Perfect. Let's leave that for the night. Here is the tree after treatment. Looking good, looks like I got some good coverage in there. If you're wondering how those mites get around, I've heard that they use that webbing they use for their nests and they use them like a parachute or a hot air balloon. They just fly around, let the wind take them from plant to plant. I don't, it's quite incredible really. I'd like to, uh, if you know any more about mite migration, let me know in the comments. Because it's quite interesting how these things get around. Next day, let's take a look here. See if we can find any mites. Now I'm checking about 10 different leaves from different parts of the tree. And as you can or cannot see here, I don't see any more mites. They say that once 10% of the leaf is eaten or destroyed by the mites and they're going to start to drop and it might not kill your tree but it's going to reduce production and it just kind of have to reapply every once in a while you don't want to reapply too much follow the instructions on whatever you're using but also mix it up i've used kaolin clay and i've also used the orange oil and so far it's working now here's the scale insect now if you will take a look here 
and you'll see nothing. It's just green leaf. Just remember that. Now, if we zoom in a little bit on this scale insect, watch. Oh, what was that? Just shot something out of there. There it goes. And that is honeydew. And if you look back down here, you see that glowing little shimmer. That's a little drop of honeydew, which ants love. Ants eat that, and they protect and transport scale insects up and down plants in return for eating that honeydew. And a honeydew can also be made into honey by the bees. But this is what you want to see if you have mites. Ladybugs doing their thing and making kids. We want more of this in your garden. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you got something out of the video. And if you have anything, any good suggestions, constructive criticism, let me know in the comments below. Garden on.